What if there was a way for your automatic order submission to remain in place and you could force only your personalized orders to come to your other orders tab instead of automatically importing with all of your other orders? One of the great things that I appreciate about this channel is how engaged all of you have been in sharing your thoughts and suggestions in comments on videos. Many times you all have shared tips or suggestions that I thought were really, really good ideas and worth sharing with everybody. And that just happened again recently with this comment on my video where I did a review of some stickers from Printify. The topic was creating a bundle or pack of different sticker designs as one product very and how fulfillment of that works with Printify. But the suggestion from Trent in that comment pretty much blew my mind and gives you a second option when it comes to how you want your orders to import when they are personalized or those customized combo pack type variants. So in this video, I'm gonna explore the two options that you have when it comes to orders on Printify that you need to edit before submitting them to production. All right, so a quick refresh on why would you need to edit orders on Printify before they get submitted to production? The two most common reasons are what I mentioned in the intro there. When you sell personalized products or when you create a listing that has a specialized product variant, like a combo pack or a multi-pack that is built into the listing. Instead of the customer adding multiple separate products, you give them the option with one of your product variants to say, get a four pack of stickers as one product variant. Now on Printify, there is currently no option to hold only specific orders, like ones that are personalized uh, without submitting them to production automatically, if you want your orders to go to production automatically. So we're here on the store settings page and it begins with order routing, but if we scroll down to the order approval section, you'll see what those settings are. So we have the choice of manual, automatically in one hour, automatically in 24 hours, or automatically at a certain time each day. And notice here how there is no option that you can select, at least currently, where you can only hold orders that come in with personalization applied. Right now on Printify, it is all or nothing. Now this is different on some other platforms like Printful. Printful already has an option if you come to your settings on the left navigation and then down to the orders section of your settings. And then if you scroll down to the sync as you go section, you will find a checkbox right here. It's the last item under sync as you go to import personalized orders as drafts. And if you have that option checked off, then Printful is going to hold an order when it comes in and it indicates that personalization was applied. And it will not automatically go to production, which gives you the ability to go ahead and edit the print file, make the adjustments that you need for the personalization, and then submit it manually. So for Printful, the personalized items is a non-issue. But back on Printify, as I mentioned right now, it's pretty much all or nothing. However, there is a second option that I'm now aware of that we're here to talk about today. But in order for the second option to work, there is another setting on your store preferences page here that you need to take a look at. And that's right below the order approval settings. It is the order view settings. What you wanna make sure you do is have the option selected here for show all orders. That's important for this second option to actually work. So when you have that option selected in your preferences to show all orders, you have two tabs on your My Orders page in your Printify account. Your Printify Orders tab contains all the orders that have at least one matching product from your Printify account. You also have the Other Orders tab. The Other Orders tab is where you will see all of the other orders from your Etsy shop that did not match any product variant that's currently in your Printify account. So let's back up for just a second. As I mentioned, the way that Printify matches up a product from an order Order on your Etsy account to a product in your Printify account is based on that SKU number for the product variant. But what if there was a way for your automatic order submission to remain in place and you could force only your personalized orders to come to your other orders tab instead of automatically importing with all of your other orders? Let's walk through an example of how this option works. Let's say I have an assortment of products in my Etsy shop and a mixture of things that are personalized and not personalized. For a personalized item like this ornament, which I recently created the design for in the uh, video about creating Christmas tree ornament designs, it has a personalization that needs to be applied to it. So for this product, if I wanna force this to go to my other orders tab and not be imported, not go to automatic order submission, then I'm going 
going to need to edit that SKU field in the listing here in this SKU field. When you publish this listing from your Printify account, it's going to have a string of numbers, the SKU number that was generated by Printify when you created the product in your Printify account. And again, that is how Printify matches up the product on an incoming order to a product in your Printify account. It's done by the SKU number. So because I changed it to what you see there on the screen, now it will no longer automatically import the order into my Printify account. It's going to instead go to the other orders tab when someone places an order. So let's take a look at what happens next after somebody places an order. Before we hop over to Printify, I wanna point out that the personalization requested by the customer comes through on the order information right here. You don't even have to open the order in your Printify account, just go to your orders page. And right there under the SKU, you will see the personalization requested by the customer. Now, back in our Printify account, you will not find this order on your Printify orders tab on the orders page. We're gonna have to switch over to the other orders tab to find this order. All you have to do from there is select the order and the order information will pop up. So before we use the import order button to pull the order into our Printify account and submit it, we're gonna use the select product button here. And we're gonna select the product listing that we created with their personalization already applied. So on my My Products page, I found the published version. I created a copy of it. I edited the name on it so that it shows John instead of whatever was on the original as sort of a template. And then I saved that as a separate draft. I did not publish it. I just saved it as a separate draft. Then we just go through selecting that one. And one thing to point out here is when you get to this step, now you've selected the sort of version of it that's got their personalization, you do not, you do not want to check this box to automatically import this order. Because if you do that, then in the future, if this order gets placed again for the same SKU number, it will automatically sync to your account and it will go to production automatically if you don't catch it. So because we did this intentionally, we do not want to check that box. So you can click on confirm for the product selection and then click on import order. It will give you one more pop-up to confirm that this is the product you want to sync with this order. And click confirm. And you'll get a message that the order imported successfully. And now you are here on the order page where it's showing you the product that you've selected, the customer's information, and the cost. Now on your orders page, this order will just kind of sit there for a couple minutes in the on-hold processing status before you can actually submit it to production. Usually if you just back out of the order and refresh the page, you'll be able to submit it. And there we go. We refresh the page. Now it's got the little blue on-hold indicator and we come to it and we can click on submit order and we're done. So this is a pretty cool option if you're a seller like me and you only offer a small number of personalized products and most of your products you want to have automatic order submission. Remember the other option, the original option that I personally have always used is just to set all of your orders to manual submission. So every order, no matter whether it's personalized or not, has to be submitted manually. Let's consider a couple pluses and minuses of both options here and then we'll wrap things up. So as far as the option for submitting all of your orders manually, just setting everything to manual submission. A positive of using that method is that because you have to look at all of your orders to submit them, chances are you're not gonna miss any of your personalized orders because you're always by default looking at your orders page on a regular basis to submit your orders. As far as negatives for that method, of course, it means a lot more manual work if you sell a lot of products that are not personalized and you just have to go in there to submit the orders constantly, especially if say you're on vacation and you still have to go in there every day to check your orders and submit them all manually instead of enjoying your vacation. Now for our new option two, where we alter a SKU number on a published product so that it does not sync and instead goes to our other orders tab, the positives for that method are of course that you only have to manually edit the orders for personalized items or any unique product variants where you're creating like a bundle pack or something like that. All of your other orders can go to automatic order submission in either one hour or 24 hours based on what you selected in your Printify account. So if you don't get any personalized orders for a given day, then you don't really need to go look at your orders tab at all, technically. Now, as far as negatives go with this method, the only real things I can think of are things that are just based on you remembering things that you need to do. For example, if you publish a new personalized listing and you forget to alter the SKU number, an order for that product will sync 
link to your account and it will go to production automatically if you don't catch it. And on the flip side, because these orders go to your other orders tab and you're not in the habit of looking at all of your orders because most of them get submitted automatically, then it's possible you might forget to go look at your other orders tab once in a while to make sure that you don't have any personalized orders there that you need to import. So that's really the only downside I see with this method, but I think this is a really cool option and I actually think I'm going to use this option going forward for my shop so that I can turn my automatic order submission back on on my Printify account. So once again, thank you to Trent for this comment and pointing this out because I think it's awesome to have options. Even if none of the options are completely perfect, it's always better to have options than to really only have one choice. So let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and also say thank you to Trent for suggesting this. Hit that like button if you did find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel so you can be notified when I come out with future videos. Thanks everybody. See you next time.